Hi, I'm Dr. Elizabeth Roy. Thanks a lot for joining me. I want to talk about urine leakage. I know you probably don't want to talk about urine leakage, and we don't talk about it enough. One of the reasons we don't talk about it is women don't know that there are solutions to their urine leakage. In fact, I help women every single day resolve this issue. It's really important that you understand you're not alone. 43% of women from the age 30 to 70 actually have some urine leakage. A lot of women think it's only associated with childbirth or vaginal birth. It's not. It can be due to hormone depletion. It can be because of a loose pelvic bowl muscles. There can be some irritation of the urethra that causes this urgency or this frequency or just this random leaking. Sometimes it's a stress incontinence where you sneeze or cough or jump rope or you're running around and you leak. It's always important to understand what the underlying cause of leaking urine or urgency is. And there's always a cause. So through proper examination and history taking, we can actually determine what's going on. And we have lots of tools to try to fix this problem for you. If you don't fix this problem, it will get worse. So no matter what the cause, make it a priority to solve this issue. Very interesting statistic that I heard not so long ago is that urinary incontinence or urinary leakage is the number one reason why a woman is admitted to a nursing home. Now that statistic really blew me away. The family is able to take care of her until she becomes incontinent and then that changes the game as far as management is concerned. It's a lot harder to keep her clean to keep the house clean, to change the sheets all the time, to have to bathe her on a regular, more regular basis. So number one reason why a family can no longer care for their loved one and they feel they have to admit her to a nursing home. Well, I got to tell you, that was motivation enough for me to fix my urinary incontinence. I had a very large baby when I had vaginally delivered my son. 32 years ago, seems like a long time ago. And early, I guess it was my late 30s, early 40s, I actually started having some of this urinary leakage and I was not happy about it, as you can imagine. But fortunately, I had known a female urologist who helped me understand what the cause of this problem was and gave me some tools and some guidance to really nip it in the bud right away so that it didn't get any worse. And now I maintain, I do uh, Playlet Rich Plasma occasionally, once a year, now that I have no problems. I'll use a pelvic bowl exerciser occasionally as well. And I, I use other technologies intermittently just to keep myself on track. Certainly hormone replacement therapy is part of my magic. Um, so a lot of things that we can do to reverse the problem, fix the cause of the problem, and then keep you good to go for a long, long time. So I hope to meet you. I hope that you will make a commitment to resolving this urinary leakage before it gets worse. The worse it is, the harder it is to manage, as you can imagine. So thank you very much. Give us a call, and we'll sit down and figure it out. Take care.